Hello everyone, this is Hardik with ENM and today I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to create reports within Excel using WinCC Runtime Unified. So here is my WinCC Unified Runtime. As you can see, it's within TI Portal. So it's the same software. Uh, here is some checkbox objects. Here is a trend screen, which is another object right from my library, the trend control. And here is my reporting object, which is right here, reports. So I've created the screen. Now let's go to our runtime. So here is my runtime. So simply I can check if everything's working. I got three alarms, so everything's running okay. I can toggle a bit, zero and one. And here is my live trend. Uh, here is my tank fill level. So I can make sure that I can see the values change right there, the green one. Uh, what's nice about this trend object is I can change the way it looks so I can go ahead and simply say okay show me by the hour hit okay so it's hourly or I can go back to uh, minutes so here is back hit okay or I can say print it so now I can simply take a snapshot of whatever I was looking on the trend screen or I can export everything to a CSV file and it's all done easily without any programming. It's all built in within the trend control object. Uh, here are some nice report objects. So here is my job parameters. Uh, so what templates? I'm using a template called 12hours.excel. So it's the Excel plugin. I'll show you in a minute how I created the template. We'll create a new one. Uh, here is a trigger. So if my fill level goes higher than 99, I want to trigger a report. So here are my two job reports. So here is the tag trigger. I just gave it a name and it's using the template 12 hours and the trigger tag is fill level, which is this one. And then here is a manual report. So it's just a manual object. So let's go ahead and run a manual report and hit play. And if I go under my reports, it's running the manual report and here is the file. Uh, what I can do is I can just trigger it through going to 100. So I got an alarm and it's a track trigger. So it triggered the report. So let's go ahead and look at our report and then open it with Excel. And here is our nice trend. As you can see, something went wrong right there. And then it came back up and running. And here are different values. Uh, if I scroll down, here is all the values that get logged within our trend control object in Excel. Uh, and this is very nice and simple to create. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new report. So here's all my templates. So I'm going to create a new template. Let's go ahead and create a new Excel worksheet. I'll just call it, let's say 10 minutes. Create it. Uh, here is a plugin for WinCC Unified. I will make the connection. So it's the local connection to the server. So my PC name. I'll log in using my password. Hit load. Uh, as you can see, you can select all your alarms, logging tags, performance inside, tags, and user defined columns. For now, I'm just going to say logging tags. I'll double check. Yep, made the connection. Click segments, uh, new segment, time series segment. I will call it 10 minutes. Where do you want the segment to start? Just select the cell and hit OK. Uh, we can say absolute date and time. So you can define it right here or relative date and time that's 10 minutes or we can say date and time of the cell or even tie it to the date and time of a tag in our runtime uh, for now let's just go ahead and see in the last 10 minutes if i click the down arrow i can add items i'm going to select logging tags load all the tags and let's just say we want the tank level for now hit okay so before we close this report out, I'll save it and I'll make sure to just run the report to see, click update. Yep, I got all my values. So the report is working fine. Hit OK, don't save it. Uh, let's go back to our job parameters, templates, add a new template. I'll add the 10 minutes template, report. We'll create a new report. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, call it a manual trigger. Okay, now let's go ahead and change some values here. So 
So I'm changing a bunch of values and let's go ahead and generate this report. And let's look at the report. Here's all my values. Let's go ahead and see last values. As you can see, it's getting logged every second. And here are all the values that we change. So the last one was 75. Uh, let's go back to our runtime. Yep, it is at 75. So you saw how easy it was to create a sample report within a few minutes using Excel plugin with WinCC Unified Runtime. Thank you.